Actually, when I started my company, it was uh, without any security. Uh, the, the thing is that I felt it and I was very much prepared to failure. And the lifespan of my company, as I considered or envisaged it, was really to say, okay, let's try to survive one month, and then let's try to survive one quarter, and then afterwards, let's try to survive six months, and now after three years, I'm always delighted to be there. All human beings do have doubts. Those guys that will tell you they have no doubts, Maybe they are robots or machines, but to my understanding, that, that does not exist. So whenever you start something, you have doubts and you need to face it. It's not a question, ah, my God, my goodness, I have doubts, so I shouldn't do it. If you don't have any doubts, then you are mad. You will always have fears and it's impossible to control everything. It's impossible to control the future. You understand the present today, but there are so many parameters in the future that you need to do the best you can do, and then you will have luck or not. The good thing about sharing your doubts and sharing your experience is that you are seeing that those entrepreneurs that had invest all their life and maybe a personal belongings into a project, even with doubts, did it. So when you explain this, it's a kind of a, a psychological therapy. It's a group therapy. And if you stay in your little corner, you will not evolve anyhow. If you think that you should hide things, it's, it's a, as far as I'm concerned, it's a very bad reflex. You should just show the way you are and the people will understand as long as, and that is the way for everybody to pursue in this life, as long as you better and try to work out very hard to improve whatever value you propose to the market.